reader friends, it's Cheyenne from Cheyenne Reads, and today I was inspired by Noelle's video, and I will link it down below, but I wanted to go over my Stephen King collection with you guys, so I am located in front of my Stephen King slash short story shelf, Ugh. uh, to kind of go over my collection with you. Sorry, my mom's mowing. Um, I get a lot of my Stephen King books from McKay's or other used bookstores, sometimes thrift books, just because he does have so many, and I do want to own all of them, and that's a lot of money. So, sorry King, I do buy some of your books brand new, but your girl's balling on a budget, so keep that in mind. Alright, let's see. Um, I'm not really, I, I only remember that this is my first one. A guy that I worked with at Walmart recommended it to me when I worked there. So, uh, let's get into the video. I'm just going to kind of tell you guys what uh, Stephen King books I have, go over the ones that I've read, and then kind of recommend the ones that I think is best for you to start out with when you're just kind of getting in introduced to King. So, the first book by Stephen King that I ever read was It, and this is my lovely beat up copy. It looked just the tiniest bit better when I bought her when I bought it, but I have a very love-hate relationship with this book. I love when there's action and it's going and like, you're learning about Pennywise or Pennywise is kind of attacking or taunting the kids. I love that. Does that help with fighting? A little bit better. Okay, so I really struggled with the slow bits in the story, which there are numerous ones of them. This is one, and I haven't really had that feeling with any of the other Stephen King books I've read, but this one really did drag, and I'm not really going to go into what this one's about, because most people do know, but basically, clowns and your worst nightmares. Love it. This is ooh, my favorite, one of my favorites of my King. So, we have a Cycle of the Werewolf. And this one's got a pretty interesting cover. I also got this one from McKay's. And this one is kind of, I don't know why I flipped it this way, a bit of like, not really a graphic novel, but it's really neat. It's got some nice artwork in there. Oh, there's a colored picture. Do this. The next King book I have is Cell, and I believe I got this one at Goodwill. Can't remember if it's been a minute. Also, look at that throwback picture of King. Oh, he was a looker. Okay, so Cell is about, it's kind of like a zombie apocalypse, I believe. But they're mind controlled by cell phones. Possibility. Next, we have The Outsider, which I did buy brand new because. It's one of his newer ones. This one, if I remember correctly, and I could be wrong, so feel free to let me know down in the comments. This one is about a kind of shapeshifter who... Hang on. Let me start back. Okay, so this one is about a man who gets kind of framed for a murder. It's got... Okay, so this one is about a man who gets kind of framed for a murder. It's got some paranormal aspects because there's a shapeshifter. That's all I'm going to tell you. Because again, I like to go into books not knowing anything so that everything is a surprise. Next we have Sleeping Beauties. Now this one was wrote by Stephen King and Owen King. Um, I've not read anything that Owen King has wrote by himself, so if you have any good recommendations, pause for puppy lovings. Oh, here comes the other one. Uh, so this one, the women are falling under a supernatural sleep and then they're not waking up and they're being wrapped up in cocoons. And so the men are kind of left to figure out how to go about life without women and women are kind of forced to choose whether or not to go back to the men or to continue in their dreamlike world without them. Pretty interesting. Also, we have, is that the right one? Yeah, we have Mr. Mercedes. Finders Keepers, and End of Watch, all of course by Stephen King. This one is a trilogy that he wrote that um, is a kind of a, it's a mystery, murder mystery. They, it's about Detective Hodge, 
Snipe Hodgkins. Where's his name at? Where's his name at? Where's his name at? Ha! Detective Bill Hodges and his hunt for the Mercedes killer. This killer uh, runs down a group of people at a job fair with a stolen Mercedes. And then kind of taunts the detective and threatens the detective's friends throughout this book series. It's one of my favorites. It combined my favorite author with one of my other favorite genres, which is mysteries. Next, we have The Shining. And can we just talk about how this cover... <laughs> and there's the back. Um, I got this one at McKay's. So, I desperately... I love this one just because it's so old and it's got that like really old vibe. But you can't tell it's The Shining other than it's shiny. So I need a new one. Um... But I also have Doctor, Sleep, and these two, um, well, we'll kind of talk about this one first. The Shining is about Danny Torrance and his parents, Wendy and Jack. And Jack takes a job watching over the Overlook Hotel during the winter months whenever the hotel's closed down because it's too dangerous to go up there because it's on a mountain. And basically, Jack is kind of tormented by the ghost in the Overlook Hotel. But Danny kind of somehow through The Shining connects with a little girl who also has The Shining and she's being targeted by this group of people who feed off of The Shining. And so he's trying to protect her and put an end to these people. Um, he has to come to terms with everything that happened at the Overlook and kind of heal from his past to move on with his future. Let's see, what's next? Dolores Claiborne! Basically, this is the story of Miss Dolores recounting what happened to her husband and how he mysteriously passed away. She's just kind of answering all the town's rumors before she passes away. I believe. Or before she goes to jail. She's just kind of clearing up all the rumors. Pet Cemetery. I absolutely, I'm going to cover my face this time, love this copy and it's got a nice little blurb on the back. Um, so this of course is the story of, what's the family's last name? Why am I so bad with names today? Do, 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 do. So this is okay. So this is a story of the Creed family, and they move out to this kind of rural town um, for, I believe, the dad's job. I think he's trying to be a writer, and he no, he's a doctor. He's a doctor. Uh, they move out here for his. They move out there for his job, and they discover that the house they bought has a the neighborhood pet cemetery on the ground. It's where all the children go to buy bury their pets, which I think is creepy and cool. Uh, but if you go further past that cemetery, there's an Indian ritual burial ground. And they learn the important lesson that sometimes dead is better. Side note, all times is dead is, dead is better. Don't bring anything back from the dead. And then we have Misery, which I also really love. This cover. There's some pressure glare. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but he's just in a little wheelchair. Shadow Holden act from the back from the case too. And this is the story of an author who writes about the same character for this long book series and he's just not feeling it anymore. So he kills off this main character that people love. Sometimes they love this main character a little too much. So he gets kind of kidnapped and is forced to write another book just for his biggest fan. Bazaar of Bad Dreams, and I love this cover. I also got this one for Christmas. Ooh, let me show you the back. This one is just a collection of short stories, and it actually has my favorite short short story by Stephen King in it, and I believe it's Mile. Would this be a Stephen King haul without this one? I mean, come on. Oh, you can't see. It is The Stand by Stephen King. Listen, I read this the beginning of this year in January. It was the second book I read this year. Let me tell you something. For everything going on right now in the world, I'm 
a little freaked out because I just read The Stand, which is very similar. Okay, the last three books by Stephen King I have read is Carrie. And this one is pretty iconic. Most people know what it's about. A girl with telekinesis um, gets very bullied and picked on at school. And finally, she decides that she's had enough. And she's going to right all the wrongs. And you better watch out. Don't piss off girls. We ain't taking no shit. The next book by Stephen King I have read is full. The next book by Stephen King I have read is Full Dark, No Stars. Love this. This is also a collection of short stories. This has the short, short story 1984. Goodness gracious, I should not drink and decide to film. Sorry, 1992, which is on Netflix. If you want to watch that, recommend. And the final book by Stephen King I have read is The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. Who Loved Tom Gordon. And this is a very kind of short and quick, easy read of a girl who gets separated from her brother and her mother on a hiking trip. They are arguing and not paying attention, and she wanders off to use the restroom and gets separated from them. And this is kind of her adventures and how listening to baseball games on her Walkman kind of helps her keep her spirits up and find her way out of the woods and face some of her biggest fears. King, I fully recommend that you either start with Misery because it's only two characters set in one location, Pet Cemetery because everybody's very familiar with the story, and I also recommend the audiobook. It is narrated by the actor who plays Dexter in the TV series, and he does a phenomenal job. And then finally, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon, because it mainly focuses on one character and one location, and it's just a nice, easy read. And you don't have to like baseball, like baseball, in order to read it, because I know nothing about baseball, and everything made sense to me. So finally, we'll get into the books by Stephen King that I have not read. And disclaimer here, I don't know anything about these books. I think I've said it several times, I like to go into books without knowing anything about them, so that everything is a surprise, and... I'm not schooled by anything, so I'm just going to give you the titles and let you see the covers because I think some of them are beautiful, and we'll wrap up this video. So the first one is the Green Mile, is the Green Mile, and I also got this one from McKay's. Ooh. Then we have Sun Dog, an apt pupil. I picked these up from Walmart. They're both very short. Then I have the Dark Tower Gunslinger, which is the first one in the series. I also got this one from McKay's, and I have seen the TV show for it. This one's science fiction, so I'm pretty interested. I'm pretty interested to read this. Ooh, ooh, I need to put the pot with these. Okay. And then we have the Skeleton Crew, which looks so neat. And also, look at that really old picture of King. Ooh. Got all the ladies of it. Um, then we have... The Dark Half. I have, of course, no idea what this is about. I got this in the free book bin outside of my case. This is, this is the Bachman books. I probably said that so wrong. These are some of the first three, uh, sorry, four, four of the first early novels that Stephen King wrote. One of them. And then we have this lovely copy of Christine. I like how it says Stephen King with an old friend on the back. And we have Dead Zone. And, oh, goodness. If It Bleeds, which is a newer edition of Stephen King. Oh, Christine and Dead Zone were also from a case. This one's from, this one's from the store, because it's new. And we have Lisey's Story. Which I did attempt to read this one um, through audio, through an audiobook, and kept being distracted. So I'm gonna try to physically read it one day. I got this one from Goodwill, I do believe. And then finally, I have the Institute, which is also one of his newer ones. So I got it from the store. So that is my entire Stephen King collection. Again, this is a very small collection, but I collection, but I am quite proud of it because he is one of my favorite authors and I have pretty much thoroughly enjoyed every book that he has wrote except for it that I do have the love-hate relationship with but overall has become one of my favorites and I 
thoroughly enjoyed the 1990 movie and the 2017, and I think it's 2019 movie editions. Um, so, let me know if there's a Stephen King book that I haven't read yet that you read yet that you would recommend that I pick up sooner rather than later. Let me know what your favorite Stephen King book is. Mine is A Tie Between Pet Cemetery and It. And if you have any questions, let me know. Let's talk. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great week, and I will see you next time.